What's up guys, Earl here with Tech, and Samsung has launched an A series on March 15, 2023. And these are the successors for the A33 and the A53 that launched last March 2022. For this, we will be diving into the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. This device may be slightly smaller than the A53, but still packs decent specs, nice set of cameras, and much more. Let's jump right in and see the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G and what's new with Samsung's latest device. From the outside, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G has a matte reflective sides with a premium back glass panel and a glossy finish unlike with the A53's plastic frame. Samsung removed the camera island that they used to have in their A53 models and replaced it with a similar camera design from the S23 series. The rear camera has an embossed design that is more elevated than the S23 series. Another thing to point out that this device is made out of eco-friendly and recycled materials. The Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is 6.23 inches long, so you should have no problems handling it. It's nice to hold and it's very easy to use with just one hand as buttons for both the volume buttons and power are on the right side. Since the back panel is made out of glass material. It is a very fingerprint magnet, but it isn't that noticeable from first glance, specifically for the unit we have in hand, which is in this lime colorway. The speakers and ports are seen at the bottom while SIM card tray is still located at the top side of the device, and we still do have the same fingerprint placement here on the screen. For the display, the Galaxy A54 packs a 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. It has a resolution of 1080 by 2340. The choice to switch to adaptive or standard resolution is available, which lowers the refresh rate down to 60 Hz. Its brightness can go up to 1000 nits, and the display is protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 material. It also has an IP67 rating for water and dust resistance, so you shouldn't be too worried about its build quality. The colors are great as well, they are vibrant but aren't too intense as we are able to see qualities like true blacks and vivid colors. This makes it ideal for watching movies. Because of the display's realistic and vibrant colors, editing photographs and videos is also a breeze. The Galaxy A54 5G comes in three colors, namely lime, which is the unit we have, violet, and graphite. The device features a triple rear camera setup with a 15 megapixel OIS main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro, while the front camera shoots at 32 megapixels. And for videos, it can shoot up to 2K at 30 frames per second. The colors are a tiny bit dull for my taste as compared to most Samsung phones, but it is still able to capture details with ease. The system is able to focus on its subjects and blur out the surroundings around it. One notable feature to the Galaxy A54 5G is the ability to edit out unnecessary elements in the photo without downloading any third-party application. Got a pesky item in the background that ruined your shot? Simply edit out using Samsung's built-in tools. Another feature is its photo remaster where it can reduce noise and blur in a photo with its AI-powered tool. Though it is advertised to capture photos using night photography, Noise is a bit visible in shots taken at nighttime or in dark, so do take note of that. This is a test for the front-facing camera of the Galaxy A54 5G. Let us know what do you guys think about the camera quality in the comments section below. What's up guys, Ariel here for Fugitech testing the rear camera of the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. This is the 0.5 and this is the 1A camera. So let me know what you guys think about the camera quality in the comment section below. The Samsung Galaxy A54 5G runs on Android 13 skin with Samsung's One UI 5.1. Previous Samsung users will be able to pick this phone up with ease while taking advantage of all shortcuts and multitasking features. From the Exynos 1280 that was used on the A53, the A54 is powered by an Exynos 1380 chipset made for Samsung devices. Right out of the box, the device comes with 8 gigs of RAM and it is able to run games such as Diablo Immortal and Genshin Impact on low settings without any noticeable drops on frame rate. 
If you do increase the settings, however, take note that there may be chances that your frames do drop and the phone heats up. Internal storage space for the A54 5G are 128GB or 256GB and users are able to insert a micro SD card up to 1TB at the cost of using the secondary SIM card slot. With this, you can have a lot of space to store your apps, photos, and videos. For the benchmark scores of the Galaxy A54 5G, flashing it on screen right now. Similar to its predecessor, the Galaxy A54 5G packs a 5000mAh capacity which can last you a day with moderate use. However, it's still very limited to 25 watt wired fast charging and does not have any wireless charging features. In my experience with the phone, it lasted me over a day when I'm not using it that much. Once I started playing games and taking photos with this device, the battery started to drain faster. I would have around 15-20% to 20 left before charging it at night. Here are our battery test results for the PC Mark and our video loop test. Overall, Samsung has created a solid device that has great design, ergonomic grip, and a decent camera. When comparing the A53 and A54 5G, it is a slight upgrade on specs especially when it comes to chipset and brightness. Nonetheless, Samsung is able to deliver a decent smartphone for its price range. And speaking of prices, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G starts at 24,990 pesos for their 8 gigs of RAM plus 128 gigs of internal storage variant, while 26,990 pesos for the 8 gigs of RAM plus 256 gigs of internal storage variant. And that's it, guys. So, what do you guys think about the Galaxy A54 5G? Do let us know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter and visit uvidec.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Arel and I'll catch you guys in the next video.